Hello, fellow YouTube viewers, and welcome back, guys, to Joel's Cooking Show. All right, we're going to use the wok tonight, and we're going to be making some chicken and veggies. And it's going to go it's going to go really good tonight, guys. It's kind of my new experiment to see how good, how good it tastes. All right, so you're going to want zucchini. You're going to slice it up. And then you're going to want onion, white onion, preferably, to go with the chicken. Use red onion, too. Make it sweeter. We're also going to be adding tomatoes into this. And I'm going to want a big piece of onion in with the chicken too. This is store-bought Dijon chicken, the mushroom gravy. Putting it all in the wok here. And now we're going to add the cucumber and the white onions into the dish. Turn that heat on real quick. Get this thing going. Alright guys, for the next part, you're going to want to add some peas or like corn to it for more vegetables. And we got tomatoes to add extra flavor when with the chicken too, in the zucchini. Using really good. This stuff is actually pretty cheap at the store. Oh, no fun. And some peas. This is what it's going to look like, YouTube viewers, so far. And once you mix it and stir it up, once it gets cooking, all that frozen stuff, we'll mix in with the zucchini and the corn really well. If you got a wok for this, hopefully you do, because it's a lot of uh, vegetables and chicken in there. be hard to fit in a regular sauce pan. I'm going to add some pepper and some salt. 
to the meal. You want to get a spoon? And start stirring. Start stirring this stuff up in the wok. Separating the piece of chicken, and because it was really big, I'm looking at it steaming up in the water. All together with that goodness in there. Yeah. Also, stay tuned after shortly after this video. I'm going to be popping a dessert video on there too. Of uh, how to make two different kinds of pudding together. So it'll be a really good uh, dessert video for you guys. Something different to add to my cooking channel. You don't want to let that cook for a few more minutes at a time. Always try to separate the chicken as much as you can in the process so that way it cooks a lot easier. Then you're going to want to add some uh, tomatoes to it. got these fresh stewed sliced tomatoes put in there. All right, yeah, it smells good. It's all steaming together now. Check that out, guys. Looks great. I'm going to add some more pepper to it. Feel free to add whatever you guys like to it, like parsley flakes.
Now I've added the parsley flakes to it. So I'll cook into the chicken and the vegetables a lot better with the pepper and the salt. Adds a little bit more flavor to it. All right, guys, and voila, this is what it looks like, the finished creation. I let it cook for a few more minutes again, so that way the chicken is uh, cooked from being frozen, or if you have to thaw it out. If it's already thawed, then that's great. That's good. Then you don't have to cook it as long, probably. But if it's been frozen, you probably want to cook it until the 13, 14 minute mark. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video, and uh, stay tuned for more epic uh, dessert videos and other cooking videos coming your way on Joel's Cooking Show.